Good evening. Welcome to the Board of Trustees' regular meeting for June 1st, 2021 at 6 o'clock p.m. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Please stand for the invitation. Mr. Ford. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for the stay in Atna Township and thank you for the residents that could be here with us this evening. I uh, ask that you please guide and direct us in all that we say and do as we make decisions based on the best interest of uh, Atna Township. Pray these things in your name. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All <laughs> welcome, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Ford. Here. Mr. Carlisle. Here. I'm going to adopt the agenda as presented as our second. Second. For second discussion. Mr. Ford. Yes. Yes. There are no minutes ready for adoption. Go to public comments. Uh, limit three minutes per person. Anyone? Mr. Evans? Can you just stand here? Uh, I mean, I can speak up. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Mark Evans, 91 Old North Church Road. Um, just here to ask if the board has considered having a meet the candidate tonight. For this upcoming election if the uh, township is going to plan on hosting that we've got four candidates right now one incumbent um, that's in the race and i think it would benefit the uh, township to have a night where everybody can speak to the candidates that's what i asked for thank you anyone else yes sir how you doing my name is mark griffin i live on Baldwin road and that's a serious issue this fellow that bought the field behind me, between me and Mink Road, has turned it into his personal playground. There's now a rifle range back here. My house is within 100 yards of this rifle range. Saturday night, I had to sit and listen to 30 round clips for three hours. My grandkids couldn't even go out in the backyard and play. I want to ask you, is that safe? Is that safe for you to bring your kids over and play in my backyard? Something's got to be done about this. Wait. Something's got to be done. This guy's had the sheriff called on him for me at least 20 times. Or tell him about everybody else around me. I ask you guys, I'm pleading with you guys. He's got to do something with this rifle range. Something. Point it towards his own house. There's nowhere safe for him to be shooting in that field. Nowhere. I don't care that he's shooting into a hill. It ain't safe. My house is right behind him when he's shooting. Right behind. I'll show you a picture if you like. Can I show you a picture? That man right here is the zoning inspector, and you should share this information with him. I mean, know. something's got to be done. I mean, it's not safe. It is not safe. Nowhere is it safe for him to be shooting. He is surrounded by houses, and he's got a rifle range. I understand. Something's got to be done. Get with Mr. Singleton. Um, get information from him and get with him on this issue, please. I mean, it's scary. I couldn't even sleep Saturday night. It was, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. Three hours and 30 round clips. I thought I was in a war zone. In my backyard. Uh, yeah, it's not happy. I'm not happy about it at all. I've been here for 32 years. 32 years. Anyone else? I don't care if you're allowed to shoot in Licking County. That's bull crap. Anyone else? Public comment? Reports, you can see the Red Department reports. Any questions? Somebody's got to come out. No. Something's got to be done. Water and sewer? Probably. You know, fire district is the best you've got here. Sanitary Parks and Rec, Mr. Ford. Nothing in the city. Waste away things. I mean, isn't it like cleaning down? Bubba called me on, I believe it was Thursday morning, um, the cemetery down here at the cemetery was vandalized by some someone over some group overnight uh, they damaged the white fence um, was taking the slats out of the fence and were hitting them over the um, uh, headstones um, so we're going to probably have to replace the east fence 
Okay. Would you get an estimate? You took care of the fence before on the other side. Yep. Would you get an estimate to replace the east side? Sure. And then we can salvage what's left on the east side. If the north side gets damaged again, we will have some extra parts, parts and pieces. Okay. If you would do that, I'd appreciate yep. it. So chain link on the east side? Yeah, yeah just, like, just like the other. Yep. Okay. Jet D-1 and 2, um, we met um, uh, at our organizational meeting. Um, it was kind of eventless. Uh, we just went through the normal business uh, of getting insurance, uh, budgeting for the year, and um, our Joes has left Newark. She was our contact for the Jet and the income tax collection, and so she is now retiring. And so we have a new um, tax person over there named Brenda Cooper, so we'll be dealing with her. Jed will meet in August. Old business, JBW Properties. Mr. Shannon. Mr. Wyatt. Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, Township Trustees. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present here again uh, this afternoon regarding uh, the JBW properties. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to pass out a site plan if I could.
is 65 by 120. Therefore, our minimum lot size is uh, 65 by 120, which I believe comes out to 7,500 square feet. We've also um, negotiated an increase in the minimum square footage of the residences. Um, although uh, the subdivision to our south has a minimum square footage of 1,000 square feet, and the MI development um, to our east has uh, minimum square footage, uh, I believe, of 1,000 square feet as well. Uh, Mr. Weiler uh, has agreed to increase our minimum square feet to 1,400 square feet. Uh, that's obviously exclusive of basements. Um, the uh, neighbors ask that we uh, commit to basements in the vast majority of our units. So we did. Uh, we anticipate adding to the language um, that 95% of these houses will have basements. We wanted a small number, 5% uh, of these uh, units, uh, to have the flexibility to. Uh, uh, be a ranch uh, that doesn't have an basement to accommodate people that might not want to deal with stairs. Um, also, um, to be site specific, uh, we spent additional time talking about the emergency access drive. Um, <coughs> Mr. Weiler talked with the affected property owner, uh, Mr. Uh, Lynch, who uh, had also talked with his neighbor. They are on either side of the so-called reserve lot where the emergency access drive is to be. Uh, we made an additional commitment uh, that we would place it um, as far west um, as possible on the subject parcel, and that's uh, obviously subject to the approval of the Huntington County Engineer or the appropriate uh, county agency that would uh, get into that, I assume, in the planning stages, sir. Uh, why was the Franklin County? Our, I'm sorry, I apologize. The Franklin County engineer, Bill yeah. so Fogg, Mr. Chen. Um, so uh, again, those were to address um, the concerns uh, that were site specific of our neighbors. Uh, I think at the end of the end of the day. Uh, okay. All right. So. Okay. I, I apologize. Um, for, for the record, it's the first time anybody's ever complained that they couldn't hear me. I generally prefer not to listen to me. But uh, again, for the record, the changes would be that uh, changing the number of units down to 131, changing the minimum lot size to be 65 by 120, uh, where we have bought the uh, houses to the south. Um, those lots will be 70 foot in width as well as 120 foot in depth. The uh, minimum square footage for the single family homes will be 1,400 square feet. Um, all of uh, the homes, or 95% of the homes, will have basements. So, a mere 5% of them uh, would have the flexibility not to have basements. And um, additional provision was that uh, for our emergency access drive, we'd already agreed to several limitations on it. Uh, an additional one is that we will locate it as far uh, west as is practical um, after review by the Fairfield County Engineer. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for Licking. Uh, Licking County. And two strikes, Mr. Shannon. Oh, Let's go for Cuyahoga, 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 Cuy
I really can't take credit for the negotiations because Skip rolled up his sleeves and uh, has made at least uh, three uh, separate meetings uh, with the, the neighbor uh, who represents uh, the uh, community there. And um, I believe uh, we have asked uh, them to send a, an email of support uh, to reflect that we have these consensus and it's my understanding they have agreed to do so. So since the hearing is closed, it would probably um, be inappropriate, Mr. Chair, to get any testimony, um, but I'm, I understand emails are forthcoming, or at least one email from the leadership, Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane? <coughs> yep, that's all accurate. So, um, and it wasn't, there wasn't a negotiation. I kept redoing the plan and trying to find a compromise, but the compromise was to basically give the neighbors what they asked for. And I'm guessing if I said, tell me exactly what you want, they would have said nothing. But since they're realistic and reasonable, and they said, look, we don't want any lot smaller than 65 feet wide. So we made every lot that large. I think when we met with you guys, you were talking about density or total number of lots in the somewhere in the 130s range. The same thing with the neighbors. They said if we could get in that 130s range, the reality is if we go to 65 foot lots, the most we can get is 131. So we're at the low end of that range. I think um, uh, we've done everything. I know I've done everything they've asked of me, and I tried to do more than or less than that, more than whatever, get more lots. But, and they come back with a new plan, and every time they just were not willing to consider that. And so basically, at the end, I said, okay, I did everything they asked. I think they appreciated that, and that's how we got to this plan. And they agreed to this? Yeah, Mr. Rent did agree to that, and I asked him, and I think he's sending, I don't know if he's sent one yet, but he's going to be sending an email to the administrator. Director, I'm going to open this up for public comment. I'm only going to ask a question. Is that, is that email for the time? It is. Mr. Ford. Yes, sir. Uh, the last meeting that has no use of density is 136, I believe. Um, I thought it was like 120, 125, but yeah. this, this, seems, yeah. <coughs> this seems very reasonable. The only comment I'm going to make is Mr. Johnson's not here. Um, however, in the, the, the one you gave us the last time, mm -hmm. and the one that you gave us this time, here in purple, oh. this area right here, yes, sir. it said in there something about to be, to be determined. Mm -hmm. And I believe Mr. Johnson did make a comment that he did not want those in there. I thought he was concerned about the total number. And I thought we decided at the last, I don't know, the last one, the one before, that the water was coming from the um, mulch. Correct. And because Mr. Mr. Singleton had walked the property and noticed that that wet area was from the drainage from the small place because there's a, in fact, I think you have a picture where they had a break in the concrete cube for the lack of water to drain into there. And I, I believe that was an, an issue that uh, Mr. Johnson um, had raised. Um, I thought he was concerned about those four. Um, in the shaded area, or the three that were in that shaded area. Um, I could be wrong, but I, that was my recollection. Do you have any like recollection on that, too? No, the, no. The only, I had written down here that um, the trees behind the lots, are we, is that what we're still, is that still what you're referring to? No, I was talking about these four lots right here. If you look at the drawing that they provided, I meant it this purple shaded area. Yep. And that says it says to, to be determined. Yep. Because of the wetlands or the potential wetlands or wet spot there. Yep. And then um, um, Mr. Singleton went out and viewed it for the reason why it was wet there and it was from the drainage. Gotcha. Um, but I believe uh, that it's a wetlands area according to the drawing or the pictures that he provided. Uh, only EPA can do that. But, um, it stood the reason that it said why it was wet. 
Gotcha. Mr. Chairman, it's my recollection that his concern was that it could be determined if it was either one or the other in order to know. But uh, I'll double check my notes. So the, the yellow areas, well, all of them except for the, the green ones that abut up to Cumberland Trail, the green ones are 70 by 120. Yes, sir. And then is the buffer still there? Yes, sir. So you didn't touch the buffer part. Mm -hmm. And then on the, the yellow sections, um, those are all a minimum of 65 by 120. Oh. So they look like they're deeper than that. Yeah, life of the mind, but that's a minimum. Okay. Yeah, minimum. Yeah, so this is the same thing that we've done in the past. We should, we should have a copy of it. I think I saw it here in the paperwork. Yeah, so in the past we've approved up to $2,500 um, to partner with the Licking County Health Department to spray for mosquitoes. Um, I'll gladly handle this again if that's what you guys would like for me to do. Um, so I guess I'll move that we contract for services with the Licking County. I probably ought to move since you're the city employee. Okay, that's fine. I'll move to approve the Licking County Health Department up to $2,500. Mr. Ford will be the signatory for the township and also the contact for the Wiki County Health Department. Now you second. Second. <coughs> Discussion? We only hit our 2500 according to the record that we have. Um, went either met or exceeded um, in 2004, 5, and 6 and have not exceeded the 2500 any year after. So, um, I appreciate you doing that, Mr. Ford, and taking the phone calls and complaints. Any other discussion? No call. Mr. Ford? Yes. Mr. Carlisle? Yes. Uh, we opened the bid on the rotating project. Um, 
last Friday. Um, the estimate, we had two bids, one from the Shelley Company, one from Kokodi. The estimate was a million three hundred and ninety thousand dollars and the apparent low is the Shelley Company and they came in at a million one hundred and ninety nine thousand almost two hundred thousand dollars cheaper than the estimate. So I'm going to move actually you should do this one because I don't need to sign. Do we have a resolution for that? No. Uh, well, I'll, I'll move um, that we contract with the Shelley Company, with John Carlisle as the signator for the township, and to execute contract with them for our 2021 paving. Take the amount. Did you take the amount? No, I don't have the amount. What is it again? The amount of one million one hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six dollars and twenty cents. Um, no. 
Yes. Mr. Carlisle. Yes. 6.30.